Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about people who use two phones or multiple accounts. This is all over a, a different Reddit page that I follow, and one lady was ranting that she's in the Walmart Spark parking lot, and people are coming in, they have two phones, and they get double orders, and they're leaving, and, and she's just upset about it. And it got me thinking, I use two phones. Now, I've never been bold enough to sign up for multiple accounts with one thing. However, when it comes to multi-apping, if you are a Walmart Spark driver and you have a large vehicle like a van, I highly recommend that you sign up for Roadie as well. Now, I know a lot of people are like, Roadie sucks, Roadie doesn't give as much to the mile, blah, blah, blah. It does, that, that can all be true. However, Roadie is stackable. So you can get multiple orders and pick them up and keep stacking them yourself. You can request multiple orders on Roadie, which you can't do on Spark. Spark might stack, but they decide to stack. Roadie, you can decide to stack, which a lot of people don't understand if they don't do Roadie a lot. Um, and also, Walmart is using a Roadie to do all of its large and extra, not all of its large, but the extra large rides like bicycles and uh, TVs and things like that that are deliveries. And those are fairly easy deliveries, guys. So if you're in the Walmart parking lot already waiting for an order, also, another caveat with the roadie is, unlike Walmart Spark, the pickup times, blah, 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 doesn't matter. You're on roadie's time. And once you get accepted for that order for roadie, you can go and pick it up right away. So it is something you should be multi-apping. If you do Spark and you do uh, have a large vehicle, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get on roadie as well. And I'm going to do a roadie tutorial probably tomorrow or the next day, probably on Friday. I'm going to do a roadie tutorial just to kind of show you guys uh, some of the benefits and some of the downfalls also with roadie because roadie is far from perfect as well, just like all these gig apps. But I do think it's another tool in the toolbox. And, you know, it, it always, it makes me smile. Every time I do a video and somebody says, that sucks. Because if I do a video about Rody, somebody will come in and say, Rody's terrible. If I say DoorDash, they say there's no money in DoorDash. If I say Spark, oh, Spark's oversaturated. Everything sucks. But if you're going to survive, guys, you got to fill the toolbox with as many tools as possible. So as things get leaner and leaner, you can move between these different apps if you decide to stay in the gig economy. Now, it's not for everybody. And I don't recommend you quit your job and start doing gig work because it is a doggy dog world right now. And a lot of people are looking for extra money and a lot more people are getting into gig work. And it's I always give this analogy. If your kid was going to want to play football, you'd probably say, don't play football. You could get a traumatic brain injury. You could get a, a blow out your knees, your arms. You know, you could get injured in so many different ways. The chance of succeeding as a professional athlete and, you know, all these things. But if your kid says, I want to play football, you try to protect them as much as possible. You get them the best gear. You, you do what you can do to protect them. But in the end, they're going to do what they want to do. And that's the way I look at gig work. A lot of times I tell people, don't do gig work. But if you're going to do it, <laughs> at least let me give you some tools along the way to help you be more successful. So, And hey guys, I hate doing video edits. I added a poll to today's video. Make sure you guys participate in the poll. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next video.